to Abs and Core. We're going to get right into it today. Let me, uh, as we warm up, tell you about the equipment you are going to need. Uh, you're going to need a brick or a piece of wood or a dumbbell. And if you have any paper plates handy, uh, those would be great for our back work. So one item for resistance, one, uh, two items for sliding. So let's make a start here. Inhale, we're going to reach up. Thanks for tuning in this morning. Lots of work, the abdominals, the back, side of the trunk, and a little bit on the legs as well. Two more coming at you. Inhale down, exhale up. Getting that body ready to work. Holding it at the top, we're going to interlace your fingers, press your palms away. Inhale in, exhale, press them up. Ease it on over to the right. Inhale up centre. Over to the left. Release those hands. Clasp the hands behind your back. Opening through the chest. Releasing any tight chest muscles. From sitting. Leaning over the computer. I hope you're sitting up nice and straight when you're at your desk. Sort in a chair. Reverse that. Lengthening through the upper back. Go ahead and bring your hands gently on your thighs. Inhale in long, neck and spine. Exhale, right hand reaches up towards the roof, gaze follows. Inhale down, nice gentle warm up. And spine ready to work, joints ready to go. One more each side. And coming on up. Beautiful. Roll those shoulders up and back. Releasing any tension in the neck and upper back. Reverse that. Bring it on forwards. Final stretch before we get kicked off on our first set of exercises. We're going to take the right foot back. Front left knee is behind the toe. Reach up and over. Lovely big lateral stretch down the right side of your trunk. Switch up to the other side. Again, pressing through that front foot, reach up and over. All right, we are ready to make a start. So get yourself your uh, single dumbbell close at hand, ready to go. We're going to start off with some squat rotations this morning. So we're going to think about sending our hips to the back, chest lifted, shoulders down and back. We're going to inhale the arms down. We're going to exhale up and over to the right, I'm pivoting my left foot, inhale down centre, exhale, pivot to the left. Make sure you lift your heel on the left foot here so we're not causing any stress in the knee joint. We're going to add in that breath work, inhale down, exhale, rotate. As you get warmed up, you can sing a little bit lower. Chest front, chest side. Three more. Two to go. Last one. Beautiful. Next exercise is called bubbles. We're going to be drawing a bubble of water up on the roof with your hands. It's going to be an imaginary one here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to circle the trunk. I'm going to ask you to keep your abdominals pulled in very tight. Your feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart. We're going to add that breath. Inhale. Exhale. See if maybe you can make your bubble a little bit bigger. Let's from this direction. Inhale, exhale. So this first round through, we're going to do these exercises without resistance. The next round, if you'd like to advance, you can add some weight. Excellent. Next one up is called the Kiwi Teapot. You know the teapot handle here. You're going to have your spout. It's your left hand. We're going to slide the trunk down and bring it back up. Inhale, exhale. Very much 
the side, so I'm not tipping forwards or back. Maybe you can take it a little further down. 
two, and one. Great job. So you can uh, go ahead, let's go down the right way a little bit here. We're coming into our windmills. Now with my windmill, if you have a dumbbell, um, what I'm doing is sliding my hand all the way around. So you can either do that or you can hold it so you have the top of the dumbbell in your palm of your hand. So from here, we're going to lower down, flat back, let the chest come forwards, and we're going to reach the arm up, and then we're going to come up to center. Lower down, rotate up. We're going to alternate sides. Hips go to the back. Eyes follow the hand. Abdominals are pulled in tight. One more. Excellent job. So, coming back to our squat rotations. Now, for this, if you choose to on the last round, you could add some resistance. Piece of wood, a brick or a dumbbell. Here we go. We're going to squat and we're going to reach over to the left. Don't forget to pivot on the wall of the foot, lift the heel. Thinking about low, high. Firing the obliques, getting in some good trunk rotation. Standing forward. We're going for eight more. Seven. Looking good. Keep it going. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Time for bubbles. Here we go. Little circles. Remember the weight would be an advanced option.
Three. Two, long exhale. One more. Go ahead and pick the feet up. We're going to separate the lower and the upper a little bit further here. So inhale in. If you would like to advance further, it would be a tap. Exhale, lift, set. Inhale in, exhale, lift the upper body and start over. Tap, set, upper body. Different components working here. Lower first. Exhale, lift. Inhale, upper. Release. Tap. Squeeze, lift. Inhale. Exhale, upper. Tap, X, 
exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, upper body. Three more. Tap. Exhale, lift. Sit. Inhale, exhale, upper body. Two to go. Tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, upper body. One more. Tap. In. Exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, upper body. Check your mind. Work on without weight. There it is. Looking really strong there. Good work on breath work there. Squeeze with the exhale. Inhale, work. Slow and control. See if you can squeeze up a little bit higher. You've got five to go. Five. Four. Three. Feel that burn. We've got it working. Two. One. Hold it open for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Lower six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful work. Weight goes over to the side. Coming into a swimmer flutter kick, you lift your hips, you pop your hands just uh, beyond the tailbone there, hold up the legs. Now, modification, one leg stays bent, and you're going to lift and lower your right leg, and then switch to the other side. You'll do five on each side. If you want to take it a little further, you're going to pick up your feet. Now, the easier version would be feet closer to the roof, the harder version would be a pointed toes, and lifting up the hip, neck, and shoulders, and you're off. Keep that breath moving. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Roll onto your stomach. If you have little paper plates, you're going to have those handy. Bring your chest to the top of your mat. If you do not have plates, no worries on that. What you're going to do is go ahead, pick up your feet for a flutter kick, and you're just going to slide your hands and hover them across the carpet or floor, depending where you're at. Paper towels should work as well. <laughs> Here we go. Now you want to advance a little bit, you're going to lift up and kick away. In reverse direction. Beautiful. Put the plates to the side. You are back to the swimmer. Rolling onto your back. Remember your options. Single little leg, lift and lower. Five on each side or Go for the extended legs, lift up head, neck, and shoulders, and you're off. We're going for a 10 count here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Over you go onto your tummy, chest at the top of the mat. This time we're going to lose the flutter kick, but I'd like you to go up here and lift your feet up, point the toes, and we're going to hold them there as you lift and press away. Now to make it easier, you would lower those feet. Switch directions. Ten here. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Hold to your back. Here comes the swimmer. Lay it all down. One or two legs. And go for that kick. You're on the home stretch. Nearly there. Last little bit. Really great work this morning. This exercise is really promote 
strong, healthy back, good, romantic, good range of motion and mobility through your joints, particularly your spine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to go for our biggest range of motion. So we're going to leave both our feet down. Make sure your chest is at the top of your mat. Take your plates. And I want you to really emphasize pressing the plates away. It's going to fire through your abdominals. Press them away. Now we've got the extensors in the back drawing up. We're getting a little work on our spinal mobility as well. Flexion and extension. A little bit of work on the shoulders and upper back. All right, let's switch it up. So now the back's going to fire first. Draw it up, around and forward. Plates off to the side, beautiful job. Go ahead and press back into a child's pose. Knees are apart and heels are together. Stretching out through the base of that back, beautiful work today. Coming up onto your hands and knees, finishing with a cat cow. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the tailbone, and exhale, rounding, extending through the spine. Inhale in, and again. And release. Left hand reaches up to the roof. And we've done a lot of nice trunk rotation today. I'm going to finish off with a little stretch. Switch sides. All the way through. Pressing onto the toes. Gently coming up to a standing position. Anywhere you're comfortable. Nice and slowly. Reaching overhead. You did an amazing job. Thanks for tuning in. Um, heads up, we've got a pop-up class, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, time which is specifically stretches for swimmers. So if you're a swimmer uh, and or you just would love to have good range of motion in your upper body and through the trunk, tune in then. Thanks for all the great photos if you're um, jumping on board our giveaway competition this week. Take a picture of your workout, tag me, show me your gym, who's working out with you, and uh, you'll go to the draw for goodies. Thanks for tuning in.